Hi everyone and welcome to English Acquiring channel. In this video, we are gonna uh, try to improve our English uh, with the topic, uh, with the topic or by using the topic uh, body language. Yes, for example, uh, in Turkish, how do we say, how do we say uh, no? by using our uh, body language for example uh, we raise yes we raise our head uh, up uh, with our uh, eye eyebrows and uh, this means that uh, we want to say no but in the western culture in uh, british uh, among british people or americans Uh, when they want to say no, they uh, shake their he heads from right to left. Yes, like this. So we are gonna acquire beautiful verbs, for example. Yes, uh, when, for example, this movement of our head in uh, English, in English language, this movement shows that shows that uh, the people wants to say no or just uh, this movement shows no in english yes or this movement uh, indicates indicates exhibits uh, this movement tells no uh, or some other expressions like this i am sure they will be very useful okay okay all right anyway yes body language it's written all over your face is it is it like this is it really like this yes is it really written all over uh, all our face okay let's see Now, uh, body language tips to detect liars and interrogate suspects by ChatGPT. Paragraph one, the second one will be at the end of the presentation. ChatGPT, while body language cues may suggest deception, may be signs of deception, deception, uh, they are not foolproof indicators of lying. Police use a combination of verbal statements, evidence, and behavior analysis to assess a suspect's involvement in a crime. Yes, of course, uh, by using other criminal techniques and methods. But, of course, it is clear that body language may also be helpful to police to detect, uh, to detect to understand whether a person is lying or not. Yes. How does our body speak without words? So uh, our body speaks not verbally, but non-verbally. Yes. Okay. Uh, keep calm and listen to your body. Body language means communication via through by means of the movements yeah movements uh, mimics and gestures body language refers to conscious or unconscious bodily movements and gestures that convey that carry that send a person's attitudes and feelings to others yes standard arm cross yes So crossed arms like this, for example, what does it tell us? What does it show? What does it imply? Yes. Or how can we interpret that posture? Okay. How can it be interpreted? Yes. Yes, those three guys are saying maybe hello. Yes, by their hands or bye. Or 
Bye, see you later. Bye bye. Yes. Okay. And maybe welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. Agree, for example, this is very famous sign. Okay. This agree is like this. Okay. It, it, there is no need to write agree, disagree, for example. When we see this sign, uh, we understand that that person agrees with us. Okay. Hand movements, for example, hand shaking, hand shaking. Uh, mean is really a sincere uh, sincere movement action yes and yes do you remember there was a uh, there was an image saying sincerity is the language of all beautiful human good qualities yeah if a person for example has the sense of sincerity it me uh, it means that uh, he or she knows uh, the language of sincerity and he can speak uh, about all the other beautiful qualities he can he or she can express yeah he, he or she can express uh, all the beautiful uh, qualities traits uh, by means of their body movements okay Smiling, sometimes smiling, for example, it is also a body movement. Me too. Yeah, this is, I have learned this for the first time. Yes. Like this. Me too. I agree. Me too. For example, I agree. The other person says, me too. Okay. I think the same thing. Yeah. It, me, it also means that I think the same thing. I have the same answer. I have the same opinion. I have the same approach about the uh, to sorry. I have the same approach to this uh, issue. Okay, shoulder, uh, shoulder shrug gesture. Yes, shoulder shrug like this. Yeah. Uh, universal body language, yes, according to universal body language, it means I don't know, I don't know, or I don't understand, I don't understand. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, shoulder shrug, or uh, shrugging shoulders, shrugging shoulder, so, uh, shoulder, shoulders, yeah, shoulder back. For example, okay. Gestures tell something about our feelings. Is body language written, verbal, or nonverbal communication? Of course, it is nonverbal communication. Uh, with facial expressions, postures, and eye movements. Yeah, surprising some, for example. Yes, smiling, yes, being happy. We can also express our feelings by using our uh, facial expressions, or by using our postures, or without, or intentional, intentionally or unintentionally. Yes, eye movements by means of yes, by means of our eye movements, facial movement, facial expressions, facial expression means expression pertaining to our face relating to our face yes okay the positions of our body show what we are feeling how do the other people know about our feelings although we don't mention them because it is almost global universal yes uh, that uh, we are familiar with we are familiar with some certain types of body movements and body postures so we can understand by reading uh, as if we are reading a traffic sign for example why are you surprised or what are you surprised at when we see this face for example uh, we can ask a question like this what are you surprised at Okay. Now, it's what you don't say that counts. 
that is important. It's what you don't say that matters. So we understand it without uh, without waiting your speaking. Okay. Body language training is appropriate for the managers and leaders. For whom else is it appropriate? Is it suitable? Uh, it is also suitable for uh, police officers and it is also suitable for uh, that training. Yes, but the language training is also suitable for some uh, film movie directors. When is face reading suitable for police officers? Of course, when there is a case, uh, when there is a case of uh, crime, uh, face reading is really necessary for the police okay they can infer something yes they can, can they can infer something from the uh, position of the suspect okay now ooh, there is a long there is an image saying lots of things interview body language and tone of voice your arms crossing style reveals your personality. Your arms crossing style. Yes. One arm crossed in front, for example. One arm crossed in uh, one arm. Both hands crossed in front. Both hands crossed behind. One arm crossed back behind. Yeah, these are these, all of these uh, express one of them. For they, for example, uh, any of them may express defensive, express that you are defensive, that you are set or tense, vulnerable and nervous. Uh, uh, the, for example, it expresses that uh, that person wants to seem confident. Yes, uh, self-confidence. One of them may uh, express or tell us self-confidence. Lack of confidence may may tell something about lack of confidence. In an interview, controlling your body movements show that, yes, indicates that you are qualified enough. What does crossing your arms show in an interview? Crossing your arms in an interview shows that you are confident and uh, confident and uh, vulnerable, for example. Okay, we are not experts, but our purpose, as you know, just to be able to make sentences and to convey, uh, to convey what we want to say. Okay, be careful. Be careful uh, about what? Yes, be careful about who you pretend to be. You might forget who you are. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise you might forget who you are. For example, you are George and uh, you pretend to be, you pretend to be uh, Jack. So you, uh, you might forget, uh, you might forget that you are George. Yes. Okay, uh, our behaviors shouldn't contradict what we say. Of course, it is the principle of being sincere. Our behaviors shouldn't contradict what we say. Do we need? Uh, do we need pretend to be or to be how we really are? Of course, we absolutely, we absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> need we absolutely need uh, to be how we really are somebody language movements and gestures according to the context okay crossed arms are often interpreted as a defensive or closed closed off posture that posture indicates shows resistance or disagreement as well yes 
you can inter you can interpret it like this or it can be interpreted like this open palms signify openness honesty and willingness to engage so open palms are the signs of openness honesty and willingness to engage that posture can also be a sign of surrender or peace eye contact what does it signify what does it show what does it indicate yes maintaining eye contact is seen as a sign of confidence attentiveness and sincerity avoiding eye contact may indicate discomfort shyness or dishonesty sometimes okay taking the control yeah this one if the hand is the hand over the other hand shows that uh, that uh, shows there is no use uh, there is no need to use that shows taking the control in the middle giving the control and shaking hands uh, shows sincerity trustfulness reliance yes the glow handshake huh both hands together so for example if you use your uh, both hands uh, to shake the hand of the other people uh, so it is called the glow handshake yes handshake a firm and confident handshake is a common a firm and confident handshake is a common gesture of greeting it establishes uh, trust yes it builds trust uh, it makes up yeah it makes up trust it causes or leads to it leads to trust a weak or a limp handshake can convey uncertainty or lack of confidence smiling a genuine sincere uh, a genuine smile can convey warmth friendliness and approachability it's often seen as a positive and welcoming gesture nodding in turkish uh, it means yes yeah if you say if you like if you do like this it means yes okay I not a not can indicate agreement, yeah, uh, understanding or acknowledgement. Excessive nodding may suggest eagerness or an attempt to please. Hmm, yeah, yeah, okay, yes, you are right. Okay, yes, you are right. Okay, uh, something like this. Uh, leaning in, leaning towards someone can signal uh interest engagement and attentiveness in a conversation yes showing interest it is the way of showing interest tapping yeah tapping fingers or foot impatience or nervousness is often conveyed is often interpreted through rhythmic rhythmic tapping of fingers or foot head tilt Tilting the head to the side can be a sign of curiosity, friendliness, or empathy. The one in the middle. Fidgeting means constant uh, movement, such as tapping fingers, shaking legs, or playing with hair, may indicate nervousness, impatience, or boredom. Pointing can be assertive and may come across and as aggressive. Yes, some people may understand it as aggressiveness. So it is uh, really it it really requires attention when we uh, want to point somebody. Okay, it's generally more polite to use an open hand gesture. Yeah, instead of pointing open hand gesture here you are okay this way please okay something like this you for example you this way please you follow me please okay 
Okay. Mirroring, subconsciously imitating the body language of the person you are interacting with can signal, can signify, report means empathy and a connection. Positive, so it is uh, acceptable. It is uh, approval. Yes. Furrowed brow. Furrowed brow. A furrowed brow may indicate confusion, concentration, or displeasure. Yeah, something like this. Maybe thoughtfulness. Okay. Clenched uh, fists. Okay. Clenched fists may suggest anger, frustration, or a readiness for confrontation. Clench. Yes. Shrugging, uh, sorry, shrugging. Shrugging shoulders. A shrug can convey certain uncertainty, indifference, or a lack of knowledge. The police interrogated the suspect for the robbery, but he didn't tell anything to the interrog interrogators. How did the police understand that he was really involved in the robbery. Of course, the police used a lot of criminal techniques and then uh, in the end, he also used the body language techniques and he, uh, he proved that uh, the person was really involved in the robbery, in the crime. Experts share interrogation tips. Yes. The police used body language techniques for interrogate, interrogating suspects. What do filmmakers use for? Uh, what do filmmakers use body language for? They use body language for conveying emotions, enhancing storytelling. Yes, to make the story uh, more beautiful, they use body language techniques and uh, the uh, filmmakers also use body language for developing characters. Now, this is the last paragraph. Body language alone is insufficient, is not enough for conclusive de uh, determination as individual vari uh, variations exist. Skilled investigators consider multiple factors for a comprehensive assessment. Recognizing that nonverbal cues are one aspect of a broader investigative process. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is uh, all for now. And see you next time. I wish you a good day. I hope it was useful. It will be useful for you in your language stud uh, studies.